Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share some really neat finds that I got at Dollar Tree earlier today. I found Essie polishes in an array of colors. They are in the packaging that you see here. I did want to leave one of these in the packaging so you know what to look for. They are in their own little cardboard packaging, which I like. I like that they are sealed and that way nobody's been playing with them. If you're like me, I don't like when people play with cosmetics and nail polish. But anyway, so I picked up three Essie polishes that do appear to be older style Essies. I don't know how old these are, but if you know, let me know down in the comments. And then I did pick up a polish from Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. This is a really fun glitter packed topper and I just had to have it. So let's go ahead and get into the haul. I am going to swatch these for you as well. So the first polish from Essie is this one. This is called Bangle Jangle, and it looks like it's kind of just a lavender. It definitely has been sitting for a little bit. You can see here some of the pigment has settled. It needs a good shake. But I really was trying to tell myself I didn't need these Essies. The Essie polishes are one of my favorites, and I just thought for the price, you can't beat that. I paid... $5.35 for all of these polishes, and that is an insane price, so I just knew I had to get it. But this one is kind of like a purple, mauve purple. They do have the skinny brushes on these, which I do plan to go ahead and change out for personal use, just because I prefer the bigger brushes. But you can see here, they are kind of small. I wanted to go ahead and just swatch these anyway, just to see what they look like. This is definitely kind of like a taupey purple almost. A little bit of a sheer formula, that could also be the brush. So there it is in the first coat. But I just, I couldn't help myself. They had so many other colors at this store that I went to. I don't go to Dollar Tree that often anyway, because I really don't, I'm not near one most of the time but they had lots of colors. Some of these did not have labels on them in the packaging, and I wasn't sure what they were called, how old they would have been. There is kind of that with these polishes, but they do have names, so I do plan to research them a little bit. So there is Bangle Jangle in two coats. Definitely feel like it's going to need a third, but I want to let that one sit a little bit and see how it builds up. I will change the brushes out on these for the wider brushes just because the brushes on the Essies are a little tiny. The next one I got, I had to get this one. It has shimmer in it. So this I think is one of the newer style bottles. This one is called Fashion Playground. And I know the newer style bottles have the names on the top of the cap, whereas the older style bottles have the ones, the names on the bottom. This bottle does have the skinny brush on it as well so I am going to be changing this one out so this that's a little bit more sheer than I thought it was going to be you can see the shimmer in it but it's kind of squishy it's not as opaque as I thought I don't know how it's going to come off here on camera but you can definitely see the shimmer in there which I'm not mad about I was shocked with the way the shimmer looked in the bottle let me see if you guys can pick that up on here. There you could see the shimmer ever so slightly. Again, I don't know how old some of these are. They've probably been around and I don't recognize the names. This one does kind of appear in the bottle. It does appear a little bit more squishy. But the shimmer is actually gorgeous. I assume using the wider brush may change, make a difference with this as well. They have such skinny brushes. I am so glad they changed them out because these are very, very tiny brushes. Some people enjoy these, but for me, they're almost too small to make application very easy. So, but yeah, this is, that is a really pretty color. It's kind of like a mint green, but then you've got that gorgeous shimmer in there, which I love. You can see that shimmer, no problem at all. I'm excited about that. Both of these are really, really nice. So the next one I'm going to go ahead and open out of the packaging, but again, they do come in packages like this, which I prefer. I'm not sure where these polishes came from since they are packaged like this. I don't know if it's something that Dollar Tree was doing. 
or if it's coming from the manufacturer like this. But you guys need to try and pick these up if you can. So this is the last Essie that I picked up, and this is one of the older bottles as well. This is Color Binge, and it is a bright, fun, like, coral. I knew I had to get it as soon as I saw it. I tried talking myself out of these polishes, but for the price, you can't beat it. And this polish looks to be stunning. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. This is pigmented. Holy cow. Look at that. This could almost be a one coat polish. Goodness gracious, and it's even got the skinny brush. Look at that pigment on there. Hooey! Wow. I got a feeling this one's going to go on my summer rack. This, that's beautiful. I'm shocked. <laughs> okay, if you guys find Color Bend at your store, don't hesitate. Grab it. Grab it as soon as possible. This is beautiful. Look at that color. In person, it's a little bit streaky so I will go in with a second coat with that one but oh my goodness if you guys are familiar with any of these polishes that I picked up and you know when they came out let me know down in the comments I am curious I have no idea how old some of these are but this was one heck of a bargain I am so stoked I am going to go in real quick and do a third coat of that mint green I want to see if it'll build it up any better. I'm going to kind of float on that third coat. That's what I like to do with polishes that are a little bit on the streaky side. I try to float on that final coat, and it seems to work decent. This one's really pretty. I love the shimmer in here. It is gorgeous. You can definitely see the shimmer. That is beautiful. I am so shocked by these. Those are gorgeous colors. And that coral, coral red, wow. So I do have one final polish here, and this is from Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. It is a really pretty glitter topper. They had a couple of this brand. They had Sally Hansen Insta Dry available. I wasn't interested in any of those, but this one really caught my eye. It has rose gold and blue and black hex glitters in multiple shapes. And then there's some holographic sparkle in here as well. So this one is called Jam Packed. I do have it swatched right here. This is what it looks like. I thought the base was going to be a little bit tinted because the brush looked to be a little tinted from the rose gold glitters, but it actually goes on with a clear base. You can see it's got gold, blue. I thought there was rose gold glitter in here, but maybe there isn't. Let me take a closer look at the bottle. It might have actually tinted the base. I think it might have actually tinted the base now that I'm looking at it. I should have probably left this in the store. It does look a little bit pink on the base, so I'm going to have to watch what I put this over. But I don't feel like it tinted the base that I put this on top of. This is what the color was. It was a peach, so I feel like it still looks the same. But if you see this topper, I would pick it up, look at it first, and see. I feel like for some reason it's just ever so slightly tinted pink, because I know the brush... The tip of the brush is pink, and I don't know what, you guys could probably see it there. It's tinted, but that's just the tip of the brush. The brush itself is pink, because you could see it goes all the way through to inside the stem. But yeah, I'm not sure. This might be ever so slightly tinted. I can't tell. I think it might be. But anyway, I still think it's a gorgeous polish. So if you see it, you may want to leave it there just because I feel like the glitters have really tinted that base a little, a little bit, and I wasn't sure at first. I didn't catch that. But anyway, that's it. That is my Dollar Tree haul. If you guys have found Essie's at your stores, let me know what you got your hands on. Hope that you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you later.